everyone. Today is our first lesson on surface area and volume. Okay, so I'm going to show you a variety of ways of calculating that very easily. And I'm going to show you some formulas as well. Okay, so let's get started. Starting with the surface area. Now, for those who are not sure about what surface area is, surface area is basically the outside's area of a particular object added up together. Okay, so I'll show you some shapes, starting with the rectangular prism. Now this is the formula given to us where surface area is 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. And as you may be aware of, L is length, W is width, and H is height. Okay, so that's what we usually use. And now guys, yes you can memorize that, but I don't really necessarily think that you have to memorize it because it's actually pretty straightforward when you look at the diagram. Okay, so as long as you've got a good diagram, you don't need to memorize any formulas because what this means is 2LW. See how this is L and this is W. So this one is indicating this particular area here. Okay, the bottom part. See how that's W times L? Now there's two of them because there's one on the bottom and there's one on the roof. Yeah, so one on the surface and one on the roof. There's two identical shapes, so that's why we simply multiply by two. So it's very, very obvious. And now this one, 2LH, that's because we're multiplying L times H. L is this again. And this is the height, H. Okay, so the shape that we're looking at is this particular shape. Okay, and again, there's one on this side and there's an identical shape on the other side, so we simply multiply by two. That's as easy as it is. And then finally, WH, even when I don't draw on it, you can see that this is W, this is H. The first particular face of the shape is an identical one at the back, so that's why we multiply by two as well. Okay, so it's basically two times all the shapes. All right, that's why we have that. So you add it all up to get the surface area. So it's very simple. Now have a look at the circular uh, cylinder prism. Now this is a cylinder, basically. We just call it a cylinder. Now this is just a long name for it, but you don't really need to memorize it that way. Now the cylinder is actually a prism, a circular prism. So the base shape is a circle, as you can see. And this formula, a lot of people like to memorize this, and yes, it may be a good idea, but again, it's pretty straightforward when you look at the diagram. Okay, so this is my circle, circular prism, sorry. And as you can see, the surface area will be the top roof, the circular roof, and the bottom base, the circular base, added together. So it's gonna be two times so two times this area of a circle, and then we also need to calculate the outside area, right? Now I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so first of all guys, what's the area of a circle? You should all know the formula. It's pi r squared. That's the area of a circle, isn't it? Now there's two of them, so we multiply by two, that's why we have two pi r squared. So simple. Now, I'm gonna rub this off because now we're going to be calculating the outside circular area. Now guys, think about it. Say, say for example, I opened up the circular prism or cylinder, okay? Say it was hollow and I just opened it up. What do you think the round bit will look like? I hope most of you can tell me that it's going to be like a rectangle. You guys can get a rectangular piece of paper. If you roll it up like that, you're gonna get this kind of shape, aren't you? Okay, so if you open it up, it's gonna be like a rectangle. So it's basically, how do we find a area of a rectangle? It's length times width, isn't it? So this height given is actually our width, okay? So we're gonna assume that this height is our width of the rectangle. And what do you think the length will be? The length, see how the length is like this? If you roll it up, it's going to be like a circle. So this circular part, or circular line if you like to call it, is our length. Okay? So basically, the length is the circumference of a circle. And all of you guys should be able to tell me the circumference of a circle, the formula, 2 pi r. Okay, so the length, the circular length is 2 pi r. 
And for those who forgot it or not really sure, make sure you memorize it right now. So, as I said, the rectangle, the area is length times width. This is our length, this is our width. So that together, if you multiply it together, 2 pi r h. That's why I have 2 pi r h here. And then you add it to the two circles. Okay. So yes, you can memorize it, but you don't really need to, because you can actually determine that by looking at the diagram. All right, so let's move on. I'm going to start with question one. It says calculate the surface area of a cube of side five centimeters. Okay, now this is like a basically like a square prism, but we just call it a cube. Okay, well, how many sides does, or how many faces does a cube have? You can go ahead and count it. I can tell you that it has six identical sides. So I'm going to say it's going to be six times five squared, and that's going to be a solution. It's a very easy question. And for those who are wondering why it's five squared, well, the square, the area of the square is simply five times five, obviously. Okay, so that's why you simply multiply that by six. So let's move on. Question two says a cube has a surface area of 3,750 centimeters squared. Now part A says find the area of each face. So this time it's like the opposite of the previous question. This time we need to calculate the area of each face where the surface area is given. Okay, so it's going to be a cube. So the surface area of a cube is always six times the square, isn't it? The base shape, the base face. So six times the sides multiplied together. So because this is going to be my face, it's going to be S, S. If I let the sides be S, it's going to be S times S to get the area. And we're going to multiply that by six, of course, because there's six sides or six faces. And then it tells us that that surface area is this. So I let it equal to that. So I've basically made an algebraic equation. So all you need to do now is solve it. So let's divide both sides by six. So I get just S squared as my subject. And then 3,750 divided by six will become something like that. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now, S squared is what we're looking for, isn't it? Because it's asking us for the area. Okay, so you leave the answer as S squared. Okay. Okay, part B says find the length of each edge. Okay, so I'll draw that square again. S, S. The area is S squared, isn't it? So that's what we got in part A. Now, the length is basically the S. So we're looking for the length of the side S. Well, we've got S squared equals to 625 from part A. So if you just want to calculate S, it's going to be 25. The square root of 625, which is uh, 625, which is 25. Okay? And that's it. So I really think the cube is pretty simple. So have a look at that. Let's move on. Okay, so question three says a rectangular swimming pool measuring 25 meters long, 15 meters wide, and two meters deep is to be painted. Find the surface area of the swimming pool. And it says, remember, there's no ceiling. Okay, because it's a swimming pool, there must be no ceiling. Okay, so this is a diagram given to us. So we'll have a look at that one. So they've labeled it for us. So it's gonna be 25 meters wide, 15 meters, uh, sorry, 25 meters long, 15 meters wide, and that height or the deepness is two meters. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the surface area. Because we're excluding the ceiling, we're gonna be using the rectangular prism surface area, except for the top. Okay, so see the bottom part here, the bottom? We only need to multiply that once. Okay, we don't have to multiply by two. So I'll show you my working out. What I'm going to do is 2 times 15 times 2, which actually just comes from 15 and then 2. Okay, that's the 15 is the width, 2 is the deepness. So the area that we're looking at is this area there, if you can see it. Okay, so that's the side, the side area, and there's two of them, so we're simply multiplying by 2. Okay, so 15 times 2, and then multiply that by 2. Now this one is going to be 2 times 25 times 2. 25 times 2 indicates this length times by the deepness. Okay, so if you can see, well, very crooked, but it's the first side area. 
and there's two of them, at the, there's another one at the back, so we're simply multiplying by two. Okay, so that's where that comes from. And here, 15 times 25 is simply the bottom. Okay, 15 times 25. And there's no ceiling, so we don't have to multiply by two. And guys, just be careful, put that into your calculator and you should get 535 meters squared. And that's it. It's very, very simple, isn't it? Okay, so have a look and let's go on. Okay, question four says, calculate the surface area correcting to the nearest centimeter squared. Now we've got a cylinder, so we're going to use our cylinder um, surface area. Now I'm just, I'll just draw you a dotted line to represent the back as well. So there's going to be two circles. So I'll show you my working out. I'm going to have two lids, so one on the bottom and one on the top. So it's going to be two times, because it's two, uh, pi r squared. So pi is there, it's radius squared. Can you see the length of, this is a diameter, isn't it? The diameter of seven centimeters is given to us. So the radius would be half of that, which is going to be 3.5. So I'll just write down here, radius is 3.5. So that's, that's why they put 3.5 squared. So pi r squared times two, because there's two circles, okay? Now, what do I have here? I'm simply going, I need to find the area of the outside circular part, isn't it? And I told you that that's actually looking like a rectangle. So I usually let this one be my width, 15. And the circumference of the circle is the length. So what's the circumference, guys? It's 2 pi r, isn't it? The circumference is 2 pi r. That's why we have 2 pi r, which is the radius, 3.5. Okay, and then we have to multiply that by 15 because the area of a rectangle is length times width. So this is our length and this is our width. So that's why we multiply it together. Okay, so I hope that one makes sense. And just calculate it. Again, just be careful. And that's what you should have. So i correcting it to the nearest centimeter. So that, because that's an 8, I made it 407 centimeters squared. Okay. Now check that and let's move on. Question five, it says find the total surface area. So we're going to find the surface area of that. Now that's not looking like any rectangle or prism or cylinder. It's actually a triangular prism, okay? And with any prism, guys, you should know, but for any prism, the, um, the base shape always differs, so it could be a triangular prism, a circular prism, which is a cylinder, rectangular prism. So you always concentrate on what the base shape is, because always the side is always a size it all is always a rectangle. Okay, so that's what just keep an eye on. So we'll go ahead and find the surface area of that. And in this one, the triangle. The triangle, the area of a triangle is also necessary. So what's the area of a triangle guys? Half, oops, that's not a half, that's half base times height, okay, is our area of a triangle. So we'll just use that one. So we've got half times 8 times 12, which means going to be half times, well, this is the base, so I've got 12, and this is the height, 8. So half times base times height. That's the area of a triangle, and as you can see, there's another one, identical one at the back, so I'm going to multiply that by 2. Okay? Now let's add it to 15 times 10 times 2. So 15 times 10 is this one, this is 10, so this side area is our 15 times 10, and because we've got another one over that side, we multiply it by 2. Okay, and what do we have left? We simply have the bottom bit left, the bottom surface, which is going to be 15 times 12. That's why we add it to 15 times 12 or 12 times 15. Okay, now add it all up, guys, and you should get something like that, 576 meters squared. Okay, so it's very necessary for you to know your areas, first of all, before you go onto the surface area. Okay, so that was surface area.